Hi, I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw an Egyptian cartouche. We're going to take two fingers at the top, underneath, draw me a dot, two fingers from the bottom, draw me a dot. Starting at the top dot, going towards the left, I draw a straight line out, curve line, straight line, curve line, right to my dot. I go back to the top, I draw a straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line, connect. Now I'm going to mimic the same line again to give it a frame. So I draw another straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line up, curve line, connect. At the top. I'm going to go wavy, 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 wavy line across, wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect. I'm going to put one dot, straight line, little straight line, little straight line. I come down below and I draw a curve line down, come back to the top, curve line out, curve line in, connect little curve line down, big curve line, connect, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, connect, and come up to the top and draw a slightly curve line out, one, two, three little curve lines, and connect with curve lines inside, and put a dot. Underneath that, I'm going to draw a triangle, Straight diagonal out, straight line connect, straight lines across, straight lines diagonal up, little horizontal lines across the top. And at the bottom, I'm going to draw a straight line, draw a straight line underneath, curve line, little half circle, fill that in. Come down to the bottom, draw a curve line out, curve line out. And there's your cartouche. Let's see how we're going to color it in. Okay, when you color in your cartouche, you have to make a decision. Do you want it to be white based with color or do you want it to look like it just came out of the tomb? I'm going to do just out of the tomb because that's easy and fast. I take a brown crayon and very darkly I color my outside frame all the way around. And then I'm going to take my apricot fat crayon and I'm just going to put some color over all the inside part of the tablet and the figures. Now this gives it a more realistic look, but the uh, colorful look is good also. All right, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Here's my cartouche all colored in, ready to send messages to whoever comes and discovers my tomb. You can always cut these out so that you don't have any of the excess white paper showing. And like I said before, you can make them very colorful and that would be totally Egyptian correct. Okay, bye-bye.